Hello, my name is Catherine Kobodose and I'm the Managing Director of Eden Tree Limited Ghana. We produce fruits and vegetables and fresh herbs um, and then we distribute to the supermarkets, um, catering companies um, and hotels. Honestly, I must say that we have been somehow fortunate in the sense that when I look at the negative impact to um, other sectors, I realize that, okay, in comparison, we uh, are not in a bad place in the sense that we are in the food industry. Um, so no matter what people will eat, the troubles or what uh, we got affected by was the lockdown and the uh, not having more than 25 uh, gathering at the same place. So we had to, our staff, we are about, uh, uh, we are about uh, 55. So we had to divide ourselves into two groups and do a three-day uh, week shift per group um, in order to uh, comply with uh, not more than the 25 at one place. Uh, which is a form of a social distance uh, um, that we had to comply to. So in dividing ourselves into two groups, we, uh, we were under capacity in the sense that uh, the supermarkets were busy uh, just before the lockdown. And uh, also after the lockdown, another channel uh, rose up, which was the online channel. We were actually not doing uh, online. We were doing one or two occasional home deliveries. However, with the lockdown, this channel just sprang up. The other area that uh, was also problematic for us was transportation. Because there was a lockdown, um, staff found it very difficult to come to work in the sense that it took them a double effort to come to work because we had security personnel all over uh, the greater Accra area. And there was a bit of a confusion as to what they were supposed to do and how they were performing their tasks. Uh, we've been in the food uh, business. Uh, we were considered as one of the essentials, essential services. So uh, with our IDs, we were able to continue to work because we needed to provide food. But you find that when uh, the staff, when they meet each barriers, each security barriers. Um, it was difficult for them to understand that we were part of uh, uh, the essential group. So in some cases, the staff were, were asked to return home. Uh, the vehicle, the public transport that they will be in will be told to turn back. Uh, so then the uh, driver driving that uh, particular public transport will just drop everyone, ask everyone to drop down, and then he just finds his way and, and goes off. So it was a challenge for the staff to eventually get to work. Um, so that was a bit uh, of a problem. And then in having to work under capacity because of this transportation issue, we also had to quickly finish so that uh, because they will go through the same difficult process to get home.
Um, so in this, we realized that what would be helpful for us in a situation like this going forward will be to have a staff bus that um, will, uh, will create pickup points uh, where staff will group at and then they'll be picked up to work and then after work will be uh, taken back to the pickup points to make it uh, easier uh, for them to continue with their work. Um, another area uh, we find that we've incurred uh, a bit more cost on other PPPs. You know, we now have to ensure that uh, whilst we are out, we have uh, each member of staff must have their sanitizers, their uh, face masks, uh, and these are all things that we have to provide for the staff. Um, uh, because we are in the food industry, we can't take um, any risks in uh, saying that, okay, individual staff should be responsible for those things. No. So we have to provide uh, every member of staff with uh, those items. 